I was just wondering if you would tell me how you came to draw your first Believe It or Not cartoon. About eight years ago, on a certain day when I was drawing pictures uh, for a New York paper, I couldn't think of anything to draw, and I gathered up a lot of things on my desk. I put them on a page and sent them to the engraver. And for no reason at all, I call them Believe It or Not. I have the very original picture, the one that I made at that time, and I have it on my wall now, and I wouldn't part with it for anything. Now, there it is, and it's the, the first picture that I've ever made. through that hole, the cigarette paper, believe it or not. I believe it. Maybe you might be interested in some pictures I have drawn recently. A few of them have caused some comments. Now, for instance, I'll show you the picture of Abraham. Abraham was not a Jew. Abraham was a Babylonian. Einstein, the great mathematician, one time flunked in mathematics and failed to enter his school in Zurich. They say the air is free. However, in Holland, it was not. The Count Sercena sold air to all its inhabitants and charged everyone who owned a windmill for the privilege of using the air. Uh, naturally, the most talkative person in the world is a woman. So I'm going to draw for you now a picture of a woman who can speak at the rate of more than eight words a second. If any of you folks doubt this young lady can speak more than eight words a second, she is here now, and I'd like to introduce her to you, Miss Conley. This young lady will now read from a page of more than 200 words. This is taken at random from a court record. This copy is entirely unfamiliar to her. And uh, you can time her if you like, and you will see that she can read 200 words in 24 seconds. 
Rested. About what time was it when you reached home after the accident? I could not tell. Question. Do you remember whether there was a doctor there at night? Say yes. The question. Who was the doctor? The doctor Anders. Question. What did you do there? If you remember. I do not know. Question. Do you recollect whether he was there the next evening? After yes. The question. How often did the doctor call? After think it was more than three or four times a week. Question. At what time did she improve? And from a week or two after the accident. Question. I will ask you to say to the court and jury when it was and where it was that you saw Mrs. Howe the next time after the accident. Answer was only a day or two after at her house. Question. How often did you call Mrs. Howe? Answer once or twice a week. Question. Where did you see the doctor after you called Mrs. Howe the second time? Answer in his house. Question. In his house. Answer yes. At his house. How would you like to try to win an argument from her? Now I'm going to show you the strangest man that I've ever seen in all my travels. I came across him a few years ago in the northern part of Africa, and he looked something like this. Although this man may not appear unusually strange now, However, at the time, he had on his head horns more than 18 inches long. I uh, couldn't bring him with me, but I did the next best thing. I took a photograph of him, which you will see now. This one may sound a little bit fishy, but there is a fish in the sea. A little small fish no larger than your hand. A jelly-like little thing that can destroy the largest and most ferocious man-eating shark that sails in the deep. It looks like this. It is called a diadem. It is a porcupine fish. And like the porcupine, it has quills on it. And when the shark swallows it, you can uh, only imagine the result. Now, you just watch this shark. And now, you see, this is the end of the shark. At about the same time that Lindy arrived in Paris, there arrived in this country, in the celestial home of Mr. and Mrs. Pop, a little Chinese boy. Now, usually the Chinese name their children after numbers. They call uh, their first number one, number two, number three, and so on. However, Mr. and Mrs. Hop call their little Chinese boy after Lindy. They named him One Long Hop, and he looks something like this. This is one long hop, and I'd like to present him to you, if I may. Why, well, hello, one long hop. <laughs> hello, Rick. How are you? Hi. How about you coming out here and, and saying something to all these folks out here? Maybe you'd sing them a little song or something, huh? What can you sing? Hello, baby. Hello, baby. No, boopity doop singers here now. I'm going to put you right back in the paper, Pat. Here, back you go. Right up there now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, one long hop. Goodbye. 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 Believe it or not. 